Hello everyone and welcome to your Monday Roundup. Well, after last week's highs against Hornchurch, I'm afraid the ewes went down 2-1 at Horsham on Saturday. A close game, not helped by another disappointing refereeing decision. Second half very good from the ewes and we came within a whisker of salvaging a draw at the death. I think one thing these games against the teams in the top echelons of the division have shown is that the team Chris is building can more than mix it with sides of that calibre. Uh, optimistic for the rest of the season and indeed next season. David and Adam signed new contracts last week. That's all good news and hopefully there'll be more to come. Chris is away this afternoon in St George's Park uh, doing a training course so Ben Cornelius is going to join me in a couple of ticks. We'll review the game on Saturday and look forward to our Easter fixtures against Haringey and Folkestone. So stick around and Ben will join me in a moment. Right, hello there, back again. Ben has now joined me in the box and uh, we're going to talk through the Horsham game on Saturday and look forward to the weekend, as I said earlier. Um, welcome, Ben. Thank you very much. Welcome. Um, first time up here for a while. It's the first uh, time up here is together for me, I think. I'm yeah. really up here before. No, it's, quite, it's quite interesting how many people come up here and it's their first time yeah. um, looking out. It's a cracking view, isn't it? It's nice when the pitch... Pitch looks all right. Yeah. Pitch is a bit boring in places, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's probably better from up here than it is down oh, close. Yeah, you know, sure. Yes, so there you go. Yes, yeah. So, um, Chris is up in um, St. George's Park today doing his, um, is he completing a badge or something like uh, that? Yeah. He's on one of his courses. It's called the AYA and advanced youth for war. Uh, he's up there for two days. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what block it is. I don't know if it's his last one, but yeah, he's away this evening. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so I suppose we'd better um, get on to Saturday's game. Yeah. Uh, disappointing. Um, I said in the introduction that we finished well and could have stolen it at the end uh, um, and come away with a point. I think the first half, we always seem to struggle a little bit getting the pace of those pitches. I think it was a wet pitch yeah. as well, which didn't help, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, that is Rotaro's theme. With with three G's recently, um, so Ashford away was was similar. Um, I think where you go from training and playing on the grass pitch regularly, which is um, slightly stickier mm. or slightly bobblier, and then you go to a three G surface, which is which is slick. I think, like you said, it's pretty takes it's a bit too long to to get into it in terms of touch and and just the rhythm of the game. And I think Saturday it took us too long to get back into it because. Ultimately, the damage was done already before. Yeah, we set up. It sort of interests me how the team sets up because Sam McCoy plays a really yeah. long range role, doesn't yeah. he? And I can never tell whether we're playing 5 3 2 or 4 3 3 or whether it's interchanging. What's the yeah. thinking behind the formation that we play? Because we obviously play Sam as a wing back in yeah. some ways, but John Ufa. Is on the other side, yeah, and he plays more forward all the time, doesn't Which he? I'm just wondering what the thinking is behind the formation. Um, it's more of a case of getting the best players in there, uh, best players in the best places for them. Um, so John John Ufa recovered into a right back position or a left back position, probably was actually not ideal for him. Whereas Sam McCoy um, is obviously more traditionally a right back, so so it's more of a case of making sure we get the right the right people from the right places as well as sticking with, with what we want to see and what we want to, and how we want to play. Yeah. Uh, case of that. And would you say it's a three, uh, do you really play with three centre-backs or is Oli operating as a left-hand career? Yeah, or, or, it depends on the opposition as well. It depends on what shape they play. Um, so sometimes, I think when we played Bitterick here, it was a four. Um, and then the last few games have been a three, but it all changes or depends on the opposition. Um, so, yeah, it's good that you're guessing because it obviously means that other people are guessing. No, it's interesting. It's just, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Like, it, it seems, you know, yeah, different players playing different roles in different games. Yeah. So you can see that, see that evolving. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the game itself, um, 
yeah, we had that slowish start and, uh, and then it got a little bit worse for us with the penalty position. And we've, we've all seen it now on video, haven't we? I think the, the sun was really shining off the pitch, whether that made a difference or not, I don't know to the decision because those pitches so glossy, but the tackle was from behind by Georgie, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. And, uh, but it was outside the box, wasn't it? It's, it's just, it's just frustrating because, you know, because again, it's another week where, where we've been done by an official, because if, if we come in and that goal doesn't concede it, because we were just starting to gain a bit of momentum at that time as well. Um, and it's a concede that and the referee get that wrong. It's two or three yards outside the box as well. And um, it just shows that every week there's, there's another decision that's Ooh. harming us or killing us and it for strength. Cause we never seem to get one out yeah. way that's wrong. Yeah. We have to work so hard to get, to get a decision or, or alternatively we're getting the wrong decisions. Um, so yeah, it's just frustrating again, another, another poor referee decision. Yeah, no, it's unfortunate. I think cause it is right that we yeah. were beginning to settle into the yeah. game at that point. And, um, and then even after the penalty. We began to play well. David had a really good opportunity with the volley, half yeah. volley that was deflected yeah. away from point. I don't know whether the defender really knew much about it, did he? No, I think he just threw it away. Yeah. Um, I think David and know he come away knowing that he should have scored it. Yeah. They've been told, it's so firmly by Ags that he should have scored it as well. Yeah. And the sad as he said, he, know, he knows that he, he should be putting that in the back and never done it. Yeah. And then unfortunately, Charlie got caught in possession and we go 2 0 down. Yeah, that, that happened, like, so we can sort of stab at that goal a little bit more than the first one to us, because the way we, we want to play and, and the way you've seen us play recently, mm -hmm. that's going to happen at times, it's going to happen. And so we can sort of stab at that because we can reflect on it a little bit. Yeah, from our point of view, where when you get a referee decision like that, you, you, you can't fan for that, you can't, it's just frustrating. But yeah, the, the Charlie one's not, as frustrating as it is, it is. We don't look at it in too much frustration as we do with the first one. Yeah, because it's all part of your developing the way you want to yeah. play, I guess. Well, you see how many goals he scores from, from Charlie playing that way. Mm. So mm. It's so influential to how we play. And it, you'd be surprised how many attacks that he started and, and we've ended up scoring. So, yeah. You see how many saves he's made as well. As yes, exactly. Saves, so exactly. Yeah, it happens. So that one we can sort of stomach a little bit of us. Sort of, don't want it to happen, but we could sort of accept it a little bit more than the first one. Yeah. Just before half time, David had a really good header. Excellent save yeah. by the keeper, wasn't it? Yeah, great. Yeah. That might have made a difference to one. Yeah, right on the stroke of half time. And um, we thought it was a grey header from that. Yeah. Um the one we spoke about a minute ago should score, but he he had no right to even get his head on get it. Get his head on yeah. it. Yeah, and I bit corner and then so new Curry made a great save for it to be fair. And um, I think if we end up coming in Plan as poor as we did first half, and it coming in at two one. Um, score right on half time. I think it could have been, could have been a little momentum changer for us. Um, but yeah, it's fair play to David. Has a great chance. He's made out of nothing really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what was said at half time because that momentum we took into the dressing room, yeah. we brought back out and then some. And the game, Torsha had chances second half. Yeah, but we were. Totally in the game, what we second half. We didn't change much, it didn't no, seem, no. apart from our composure. Uh, that, that's the that's what we're we're frustrated with, like, because you can't really accept the first half. Mm. You play like you did second half, the way we did. It just gives us no excuse as to why we done what we did first half, and and the only reason that me and Aggie also spoke about at length on the way home. The only real reason we can come down to is is because we're a young naive side as well. Yes, um, whereas you see Horsham. Obviously, a bit older, a bit more experienced. They they found a way to hold on, whereas we probably found a way to lose that one Saturday mm. because maybe because we we haven't won enough or players haven't won enough previously. Uh, we're quite a young side, maybe slightly too naive, and um, but it's something that that they learn from. Um, feet by half time, the half time reaction. I think they know if they get that first half again, that it just won't be accepted. Yeah. Yeah, I think second half did show that we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with teams like that, for sure. I said that in my introduction, that oh, yes. the one thing about these few games we've had against top teams 
if we, as we've shown, we're just a whisker away yeah. from being there, aren't we? And this team has changed a lot. You, you saw sort of choose there how good we were. Yeah. Against Hornchurch, who, who I think will be comfortable in the league above. Uh, I think you see what we've done. I think we absolutely controlled them on Tuesday. Yes, they had a couple of spells, but I think overall, like, the, the way we was Tuesday, I thought it was brilliant. Chatham, we were brilliant. Bilirik here again, controlled them. Uh, and you see what Seth can after against Horsham. I suppose that's why we get sort of frustrated that you get the first half that we did on on Saturday because, you know, we're more than capable to, to beat anyone in this league and uh, control the game quite comfortably as well. Yeah. And Sam Crutwell scored an excellent yeah. goal. He got a deflection, but how he wriggled through yeah, yeah. to get the shot off in the first place. I don't yeah. know. Brilliant, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it's a great goal. To, to be fair, Crutwell has come in even brilliant for us. Mm -hmm. I think you see the chances that we can see that it is, is a lot fewer than what it was previously. And I think that's a real credit to him. And actually that time away he's had from Pacers has obviously really helped. And to come in, and rightly so, and yeah. two man the matches and was probably our man in the match yeah. on Saturday yeah. as well, I'd, I'd say. Mm. I think that's interesting that um, we conceded two goals, but you could say that the defence played pretty well. Yeah, you know, like, like, again, like, obviously the second half we conceded a few chances, but I think that comes from where we were chasing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And so you sort of got to expect that, but I think even the first half, we didn't really, didn't really create many chances. There's more, more from us. Yeah. You know? Like, we probably created their best chances yes. in the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. to second half, we chased it a little bit, so they were going to give a couple on the counter attack, but even still, I thought there weren't that many saves that Chad had to make apart from right at the end of the second half. Yes. Yeah, he did, he did make a couple of smart saves and, uh, you know, it looked, it looked like a good shot stopper now and consistent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, he's brilliant to, to have him secured as well. It's, it's brilliant news in. He's also a really good lad. Like, he's really good for the changer. He's really good for the young lads. Um, yeah, he's been too classy. Sure. Yeah, and so second half, we pressed, we pressed, and then there was that one last chance at the end. That, I mean, it's, it's a striker's luck, isn't it? Yeah. One minute, you're the 28-goal hero, yeah. and then you get a chance like that. And the way the ball fell between... The goalkeeper had been coming off his line and clearing balls quite a oh, lot, hadn't he? Yeah. But they froze, the defender and he froze, leaving David between them, and... Probably just hit it the wrong side of the keeper. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't he's going too much depth about that one. Dab was a no. Yeah. And he, well, he looked as though he did. He was, yeah, yeah. Seeing if quite emotional in the changing room after he's frustrated. So he's a winner and he loves scoring goals. So, so for him to not take that chance, no. it, you know, a guy it'd be. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, yeah, he should really not be too harsh on himself because, um, I mean, he scored all those goals. And like I said, that a striker's life is, that, those split second moments, yeah. and sometimes it's not going to go for you. But you just see how good he's doing for us this year. It's like it. since since Ags himself come back in, it's been brilliant for us. Yes, he's produced so many big moments. So again, you sort of accept that one a little bit. That's when you need someone else to step up within the game, yeah. which Crutz did. But you then need a touch of Kier boys or, or someone to to pop up a big moment, not not just rely on David. Yeah, because there are ninety other minutes in the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so, you know, so that finished how it did. Um, we're still ninth, I think. Yeah, we, we're still in a good, uh, good position. Um, we're probably not being spoken about as much at the moment, so probably a little bit of pressure off, which yeah. might help the lads, especially where we're a bit younger, so I don't know if we've struggled with the pressure, et cetera. And so hopefully we're, we're in a good position to go and attack the rest of the, the, rest of the season. And also, I, I think it's a really good time to gain momentum. So I, met, I remember when Herne Bay went up for the league below two years ago. It was this sort of time of the year they had, they went win, 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 win. And we know we're definitely capable of doing that. So I think it's a really good opportunity now, starting Friday at Harringay and to start and have a real good run. You would say these were two winnable games, wouldn't you, Friday and Monday? Yeah, they're still tough. They're still really tough. Harringay is not a, not a nice place to go to or an easy place to go to. Um, it's not the best of 3Gs. Obviously, you get Horsham, which is a nice 3 Yes, which is slick. Um, whereas you, you'll go to Harangay Friday and it'll be more like what Ashford was previously. It'll be really sticky and horrible. So, yes, the table suggests that we should go in there and win, which we will go to. Um, but it's still not going to be easy. This league has proven it's not quite as simple as that. I know, I know. There's a lot. 
that's what I mean. There's a lot of teams are going to lose some, some free gain between now and the end of the season. We just need to make sure we're in the best position that we don't. Um, we make sure we attack these tough spaces as, uh, as best as we can. Yeah. And you're taking training this evening. Yep. Yep. So everybody in and everybody okay? Uh, most are in. And um, I don't think we picked up any injuries Saturday. I think we're all good. Um, so yeah, it's all in tonight. Yeah, and I know Tom's had a scan on his knee now, hasn't he? Yeah. So we're awaiting results on that. Yeah, just waiting to get back. Yes. Yeah, so that's so that's so we'll see how that goes. Tommy, obviously we're missing over the weekend, but Jack got 15, 20 minutes on yeah. his belt on Saturday, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of dick back. Um turn him around the ladder again. Rather than rather than being a cheerleader, he yes. just needs, yeah, what he does best and make an impact on the pitch. Aaron. So yeah, for, but Faggy's a, a big mix of Yeah, for sure. Measures. Yeah, and so you're in today. What else will you do this week? This week, so obviously where we're Friday, Monday, and we we tend to train on Tuesday and Thursday, so we changed it up this week. Um so we're in Friday and then we'll all be we'll all be in again on Wednesday. Um a bit more match prep, so we'll treat that as a Thursday. Yeah. It's Thursday, Saturday, turn around. So, so we'll be on Wednesday. So Friday game day. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, we'll look forward to that. I think um, before we sign off, we'll just have to mention your game on Friday, last yeah. Friday evening. You yeah. turned out here for Hollington, didn't you? Yeah. And, yeah. And did you enjoy that? Uh, just, 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 I did on the day. I didn't answer it the day after. I mean, yeah. I struggled with struggled with a horse from walking around, to be fair. Um, but that no, is good. It's good that because I've got to run around to see where, yeah. where I don't have Saturday's free anymore. It's good just to sort of kick a ball around and sort of where they've got the coach's hat on out there. I find it a lot easier than when I played it previously. Yeah. Yeah. And you came away with a medal as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good for the club. Good Bollington. Um, yeah, you can, you can see the reaction of their club officials after how, how happy they were. So just happy to, to do that for them really. Morning. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It must be great fun to have been out there and, and play on that pitch again after a few years. Yeah. 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 Even, even in the condition it's in, it, it's still good to get out there. Yeah. Under the lights, it, it's, it's quite zippy. So good crowd as well. Yeah. So yeah, so I think it, even when I walked out there on the odd occasion, I look around and I think what a place to play. Yeah. If you can't play here, especially under the lights, I love yeah. this place under the lights is I've got there, so it's my favourite in the league. Um, a mid to Dulwich, I wouldn't really know, but Tuesday under the lights when it's the first thing, can't really beat it. So, yeah, fantastic. And obviously, the last time we spoke to you was just after you've been appointed. Yeah. So, you're enjoying it all and um, yeah, enjoying love, making a contribution. Yeah, loving it. Um, good to be back working hard. Um, I love working with Aggie. Um, Peter's one of the best around, like, comfortably. And, um, it's a stand as he sets that the work ethic he's got is really infectious, not just on the players, but the staff as well. Um, and on top of that, he's obviously quite, quite switched on. He's yeah, I'm sure he's yeah. got. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good to be back. Really enjoying it again. Um, cause I did for that. I love a little bit with football for, for a year or so. Um, so yeah, it's good to have that, that bug back again to kick on. Yeah, no, it's a great, it's a great bunch to be around on the yeah, yeah. No doubt about that. So yeah. fantastic for your development. Yeah, very good. Good people yeah. around it, especially in that the different departments as well. So you've got that like Bobby here. Because you sure. spoke to it, like learn a lot from his, his angle, his point of view. So you've got Dane's, you've got Dane, you've got Dane's. Yes. Yeah, so he's great to be around. He, he's also switched on. He gets football. Again, he comes out and it's a really good little goblin nuggets every now and then. So yeah, uh, it's a it's a good group, good group of staff to be around. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, right, we'll let you go and um, get do. down, and um, the lads will start dragging themselves in, yeah. they, I guess. Yeah, well, I've actually got jagging jagging themselves in, hopefully you're bouncing away in. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it'd be good, good yeah. easy work. And those that do the gym will um, yeah, head up there with Bobby. They should be in any minute now. Yeah, if fantastic. Not, they're in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so thanks so much for doing this in Chris's Pleasure. absence. Great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you, Finn.